there she goes. There's no finger of high adventure this morning until we get our first fish. Got him. It's a little fish. Oh, it's a sunfish. Or what they call brim here in the south. There you go. First fish of the morning. Oh, we'll keep it. We'll toss him over the side. What is going on, YouTube fam? Mikey here shooting another high adventure video. So I just caught that little brim, a little two and a half inch gulp minnow, a little redhead jig here, little white eyeballs. That's what we nailed him on. We are back at Lake Murray. It's gonna be a beautiful day, like low 80s. It's the beginning of April, so the crappie should be spawning. Uh, that's kind of what I'm going after actually. Actually, honestly, I'm just going after anything because this is only my second time fishing in South Carolina. Gonna be doing a lot of, uh, there's one, got him. Gonna be doing a lot of uh, drifting around and uh, just just kind of, a lot of exploring today. Ooh, big crappie, big crappie. This is a nice crappie. Right down there by the piling. Come here, you. Hey, we're gonna string her up first thing this morning. Check this out, look at that. Look at that, by the way, to start the day right there on that little gulp minnow. She just horked that sucker down. That's a pretty fish right there, look at that. Man, I just can't get over how, this is only my second day fishing in the South, in South Carolina here. And just how much bigger the fish are. Like, and just how almost like more aggressive the fish are around here. Oh, just such a, just a pretty fish. And can you believe they get like three times this size? I mean, I'll bet this is probably about a 12 and a half inch crappie right here. In fact, in my last video, um, the biggest one I caught for the day was 16 inches. If you want to check that video out, it will be something that'll pop up right up here. There'll be a link in the description below. But man, we're going to throw him on a stringer first thing. I think that's called lunch right there. There we go. Stringer it up. Tie him off the back. Actually, we'll move this side. We're just casting toward these pilings and then just kind of letting the wind drift us right by as we jig our little minnow. We're working this minnow maybe about a foot, foot and a half up off the bottom. So we're pretty far down there. Got him. Oh, this is a big fish. Oh, oh, oh. oh, this is a big fish. I don't know what this is, but this is a big fish. Maybe th this might be a catfish. This might be a cat. Oh. <laughs> oh my heavens oh my goodness oh my word tighten that up a little bit whoa, 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 whoa. what do we have here okay she's coming this way now this might be a bass this is a crappie this is gonna be a, a jumbo crappie this has to be a catfish this has to be a big old catfish i haven't even seen it yet oh she's hitting stuff on the bottom come on baby wow that's, oh, it just came off. Oh, it just came off. Oh. Guys, I think that was totally a catfish. Like, the, it, it was just like that, thump, like, thrown around. It didn't even throw, the, like, it just threw the hook. Oh, that's all I had on. Oh, man. Oh, shoot. That's the cool thing about this lake, though. I mean, like, that could have been anything from a 20-pound catfish to a 10-pound bass to, I mean, maybe there's like a four-pound crappie for all I know. That hurts my heart. That hurts my heart. <sighs> Let's go see if we can get some redemption, but. <laughs> Mother goose, that hurts. Oh, we got a, oh, that was another big fish. <gasps> oh my heavens. Guys, there's, there might be a school or something down there. Cause I'm showing a bunch of stuff on the, on the sonar right down here. And it was almost in the exact same spot. Oh my goodness. Got him. Got him again. Oh, what is this? Can we finally find out this time? Oh, this is a, look at this. Look at this. I don't even know. Oh my goodness. That has to be that catfish, right? Come on. Come on. Come on. What in the world is this? I gotta know. I gotta know. Oh yeah, it's a big old catfish. I mean, it's not big, but it's a catfish. Check this out. Check this out. 
Come on. Yeah, look at that. Check this out. I think, I think this is the same fish. And the reason I said that is because we drifted by the same spot three times and I had it on, missed it as a set, had it on and lost it the first time, missed another good bite the second time, and I got it the third time. That's probably a good, I don't know, that's probably about six, seven pounds. Let's weigh it up actually, let's see. But look at that right there, right on that jig. Right on the jig. She just nailed that. <laughs> that is so cool. We're catching crappie, brim, catfish, right all in the same area, on the same bait. That is just, that is ridiculously cool. That, I just, oh man, this is so sweet. That's gonna taste good too. That's a beautiful channel catfish. Oh, that's gonna taste really good too. We got her on the six pound test line, little jig. Oh yeah. 4.53 pounds. A little over four and a half pounds. That's a good eater right there. That's a really good eater. Not too fatty. That meat's gonna be nice and lean. Let's get her on the stringer with our crappie. So the audio actually cuts out for this clip in my GoPro, but what I wanna show you guys is a small puncture wound I got in the side of my shin from this catfish when he accidentally dropped into the bottom of the boat and was thrashed around. In their fins, they have these small, pointy, very sharp, uh, almost like bony pieces in the fins and they're super sharp, especially on the small catfish. And they actually do contain a venom that will cause your skin to swell up a little bit. And it stings quite badly. Um, some people say that you can rub the belly of the catfish on the wound uh, and it'll take the stinging away. And then you can apply an antiseptic and that'll keep it from getting infected. Okay, so check this out. Look at that. That's got to be a bait ball, right? I mean, I think it's too early. Oh, look, it's marking a big fish in the middle of them. I think it's too early, though, um, uh, for like an algae bloom. Uh, in Idaho, oh look at that, there's a bunch of fish right up above all that streaking fish, right at about 16 feet. Look at that. Oh yeah, there are definitely some fish down there. In Idaho though, that would be a big ball of like crappie or perch, probably perch. But uh, here, I mean that's got to be like bait fish, right? But look at that, there are definitely some big fish hanging out there. Let's get down there and see what's up. Well, I've had a few small bites around the dock, but I think it's just brim. Let's keep heading down the bank here. See if we can find anything else. Got this big old fluke here. It just kind of looks good. The things are feeding on the minnows. Let's see if we can get something on this bad boy. We've got him rigged weightless. Might throw a weight on him later. Boy, that just kind of looks good. I love working flukes. A little bit of subsurface action. I see some, I see some uh, timber and stuff in the water over here. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Man, I just love the look of that in the water. I could just sit and like watch that all day. I could work two baits all day and just be perfectly content with not catching anything. One's a fluke and one's a top water. I just like the action just looks so good. Oh, there's one. Whoa. There's one. Oh, I just missed him. Just totally came up and attacked it. I don't know how big he was, but it's definitely a fish. Got some pilings around this dock here. Kind of looks like an abandoned dock. I don't think this gets used so much. Oh, we got fish below us, that's for sure. Whoa, something just busted the surface right there. No idea what it was. We got some stuff showing up on the sonar now on the bottom oh there's a bite there he is got him I just cast it out oh he just snapped off dang it I just cast it out and was bringing it back in and just boom dumped it that was a good fish whatever it was I don't know what it was but it was a solid fish it's been about an hour since my last fish here, well, maybe closer to the hour and a half. It's lunchtime now. There's a fish, got him, right down there. Right by that dock piling, that was cool. That was really cool, what do we got? 
What do we got? What do we got? Oh, big old black crappie. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, this is a dark crappie. Look at that. Oh, ho, ho, look how black this bad boy is. Right down there by that dock piling. Oh, 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 that's sweet. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's another 12 plus inch right there. Woo. Oh, man. That is so cool. Look at that fish. Look, look in comparison to this guy right down here. Look at that. You see that? Oh man, that's a pretty fish. Oh, that's such a pretty fish. Let's get a stringered up. Right down there by the dock. Just hanging out, waiting for me. There we go. A couple crappie and a catfish, guys. Look at this. Man, let's see if there are any more down there. Oftentimes where there's one, you'll find some more. These crappie fight so good here. It's really crazy. I thought this dock looked pretty good. It's just sitting in about five to seven feet of water. There are a lot of crisscross bars on the dock beams themselves, so there's a lot of good structure for fish to be hanging out around. There's another one right there. Whoa, this is a big fish. Okay, okay, gotta get him out. Gotta get him out of there. I mean, it feels like a big fish anyway. This is another, whoa, 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 whoa. If this is another crappie, this is a big old crappie. Whoa, look at this. Holy cow. It's gonna pull me right under the dock. What is this? What is this? What in the world do we have? Oh no, this is a bass. This is a bass. I think this is a, it almost looked like it could be a smallie. No, this might be a striper. This might be a striper, guys. This might be my first striper. Oh, come here, baby. I can't, I can't, what, what is that? What is that? Oh, is this my first striper? No, it's a big largemouth. Oh, it's a really, really, Really light largemouth. Look at that! Whoa! <laughs> right down there by the pilings again. Crappie, bass, catfish, you just don't know what you're gonna catch. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so ridiculously fun. Right in the top of the lip there. I don't even think that hit the bottom and we nailed them. Just for fun, I wanna see how big this is. I'm gonna say, whoa, I'm gonna say two and a half aroundabouts. Oh no, that's bigger than that. 2.95, almost three pounds. Almost three pounds. Oh, that was a fun fight. Boy, that just smashed that. Oh man, I like to let the largemouth go just because I think they're more of a sport fish. They're just fun to catch. But, oh my gosh, good fight. I thought I had a three, four pound crappie on and then it looked like almost like a striper just for how light it was. I thought maybe I finally hooked my first striper. But nope, just a big old large mouth. Nice. So I found another bridge. Let me turn you guys around. That's what we're fishing right there. Finally found uh, some more pilings. So we'll see if we can't pull some fish out of here. However, I'm going in blind because my depth finder battery has decided to give up the ghost after six hours of runtime, which I kind of thought I'd get a little more than that, but apparently not. So, we're gonna have to do it the old fashioned way with no depth finder. I actually didn't think I was gonna make it down this far. This is probably a good like two, two and a half miles from where we started the day. Um, so we're gonna have quite the paddle back when it's time to go home, which will be here probably in the next hour or so. This is what, got him. Don't know what it is, all the way down there. Not very big. Ah, a little sunfish. Oh, hey, check it out. What is this one? Like a pumpkin seed, I think they call these? Uh, yeah. I don't want to get stuck. There we go. Wow, guys, it's been a little bit since I got a fish. Check that out. I think they call those pumpkin seeds, don't they? I don't know, somebody tell me. I think that is a pumpkin seed. That's a good sign. If those guys are down there, Hopefully the crappie are too, but that's a pretty fish. Good little fight there. That's a nice size compared to my hand. That's not bad at all. He'd be an eater. Oh, there he goes. All right, guys, we've only caught the one sunfish and I've been here for probably a good hour. So I think we're gonna go ahead and head on back. I'm getting hungry. It's probably mid afternoon, around about 3.30 or so. And it's gonna take me a good probably 40, 45 minutes to 
get all the way back since I'm a good two miles down river. So I'll see you guys when we get back there. Guys, check this out. I was on my way back and I spotted this little island. And so I'm thinking maybe we'll just pull off right here and cook our fish up from here. What do you guys say? Oh, something just hit the surface right here. This is kind of cool. Check it out. A nice piece of like, looks like granite. I don't know, maybe that's quartz. I don't know, I'm not a rock person, but there's our stoning stone for our fish right there. Got all my cooking stuff with me. It's nice, the back of this kayak can carry quite a bit. A lot of good cargo space. Looks like a good a spot as any. All right, time to clean some fish. Well, check this out, look at all the fresh water Freshwater, what are these, like clams? Freshwater mussels, Cl I think they're clams. That's crazy, there are just tons of them. All washed up on the shore here. That's cool. So the catfish is dead, we have killed the catfish. The filleting process is always so much nicer when you have a really, really sharp knife. I should be able to start that. The skin should just peel right off. There we go. There's our first big old chunky fillet. There's one. One and two. That looks beautiful. And that just about does it. There we go. Rinse that off a little bit. There we go, guys. There is supper. Catfish and crappie. This is gonna be good. Plus, I've got a little bit of seasoning today that I've wanted to try for a while. And we're finally gonna do it today. First, let's see though what's in these guts. Anything crazy? Nah, just a bunch of, just a moss. Just a bunch of moss, I don't feel anything crazy. Anything else? Look at that big old thing of weeds. Anything in the weeds? No, nope. just a bunch of weeds and my grub. <laughs> First, we'll start by heating up some vegetable oil. There we go. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be frying our fish today. And I have some regular Louisiana cr seasoned crispy fish fry. So we're gonna just put a bunch of that into a bowl. We're gonna add some Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning. I've wanted to try this for a long time and I'm finally getting to it. I've had a lot of people, in fact, actually, as I was checking out of the store with this, uh, the little lady that was checking me out said, oh my gosh, I use this on everything. She said, I love it. So I thought, well, sweet. So we're just gonna add this right to our fish fry mix. We're gonna do a nice heavy dose. In fact, we're gonna do probably like one third fish fry mix, two thirds the ranch seasoning. So we really get a lot of that in there. There we go. Now all that's just mixed together in a little bowl. Just gonna go ahead and take catfish, which we've cut up into chunks. We're just gonna drop it right into our bowl of seasoning. Okay, I meant to say breading. We're dropping it into our breading. It's a seasoned breading. Our ranch seasoned breading. And we got our classy miniature tongs that you can get at Walmart, actually. Go ahead and drop that right in to our oil. And while we wait and eat, I'm gonna throw a big old chunk of that crappie out on the bottom. I don't know, for fun. Maybe we'll get something. Oh man, those are looking good. Looking for a golden brown color. All right guys, here we go. There it is. Crispy catfish in a ranch seasoning. Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning. Got a little crispy on me, but should still taste good. Mmm. That's good catfish. So I'm not getting a ton of ranch flavor. More like a whisper. So I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna take some of our ranch seasoning here and we're just gonna dust it lightly over the top for a little extra oomph. Keeping an eye on my line, I also have a bobber out with a little uh, minnow on it. There we go, you can see a little dusting on there now. Mmm. Oh my, now we're cooking. This is really good. Mmm, I like that ranch seasoning. Highly recommend that. Mmm. All right, let's see if it's crappie time. 
Yeah, that looking good. Time for a little ranch crappie. I think my bobber just tried to swim away. I wasn't really paying attention. I was looking down here, cooking my food. And you know how it, like when your bobber bounces, there's like a little ring that goes away. I looked up and I thought there was a ring going around. I didn't actually see it go under. Here, let's check the bait. Cause I'm not so sure that we didn't just get a bite. Ho, ho, ho. We have, we have no minnow. He gone. We got us a bite. There ain't no doubt about that. Here we go, guys. A fresh recruit. <laughs> An unwilling participant. All right, here we go. Look at that. Fresh crappie. Hmm. There you go. Fried ranch crappie. Oh, yeah. That crappie's much more flaky. Catfish is a much more meatier fish. I kind of got a little dark brown with these ones too, but it's still good. We have to finish it off with the refreshing cheer wine. Mmm. Ah, That's delicious. I'm on my own private island. Oh, this is so much fun. Only thing that can make this better is if that bobber just goes boom. It's the beginning of April, so. I'm not being attacked by mosquitoes, and it's just an absolutely gorgeous day. Just absolutely gorgeous. Man. Well, YouTube fam, what a great day. Good fishing, good food. I just can't get over the fishery here in South Carolina. This place is just amazing, and there's just so much to explore still. I mean, we've got not just this year, but years to come just on this one lake one out of like five big lakes here in this one state I, this is just nuts quick tip on the ranch seasoning go ahead and don't be shy using it on the fish the fish seasoning tends to kind of stand out so you want to go ahead and throw quite a bit of, of that ranch seasoning on there at the end i was really loading up the fish with the ranch seasoning I, the seasoning tastes great and i think it tastes great on the fish you just kind of have to use a lot of it thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed the video and the recipe and as always i will see you in the next one